Hi, I'm Craig, and welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Today, we'll be taking a look at this Samsung Electric Freestanding Range. We will be showing you how to remove and replace your left front burner switch. To begin this repair, you must first access the back of the unit. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. The tools you will need to complete this repair is a number two Phillips screwdriver, a tack puller, and a voltmeter. Now that we have gained access to the back unit, we'll have to remove this top console panel. To do so, there are five screws going around the perimeter. You'll have to remove these and set them aside. Next, pull forward, lift up, and remove. Now with our console cover removed, we have clear access to our left front burner switch. The reasons why you'd be replacing a burner switch would be that maybe the element is not turning on at all. It could be staying on at high power. There's multiple reasons. The first thing I would do is check to make sure you have 240 volts going to your element and to your machine. As long as this is okay, We'll go ahead and test out the burner switch. Remove the blue harness and the black harness. Now this burner switch has two different settings. It has a single element and a double element. So I'm gonna put my meter on audible tone. This is gonna check for continuity when I put the switch in certain positions. When I test, if it's good, the noise you'll hear is this. So to start, we'll go ahead and put it on the dual burner. Test between the two left switches there. Now this is testing out okay. Let's test out from these two. This is testing out good as well. This is showing me that both sections is open, allowing it to provide a double burner on it. Next, we'll go to the single burner. Now, if we go between these two here, we do have continuity, but between the two on the left, we do not. This is correct because it only wants to send power to one element and not the dual portion of the element. So the switch is actually testing out good, but we're gonna show you how to replace it. To begin your replacement, go ahead and remove the other two Molexes that are attaching to the burner switch. Sometimes they can be rather stiff. Remove the knob. Next, you'll have two Phillips screws that are holding on the burner switch. When removing the second one, make sure you put pressure on the switch from the back side so that it can't fall. Pull out your switch and set it aside. When installing your switch, make sure that your lettering is correct. When you're positioning it, this will put it in the correct way. Slide it in. Match up where your screws go. Do not tighten the first one all the way so that you have room to wiggle the switch. You can put in the secondary screw. Go ahead and replace your knob. Next, reinstall your Molexes. Now we can reinstall your console cover. When reinstalling your back console panel, there is a notch that's on the left-hand side that'll fit into this groove. Um, you'll have to line that up as well as the bottom portion of the plate will slide behind the bottom panel portion. So meet up 
and slide that in on the bottom. Meet up with the groove on the left hand side and slide down to get it in place. Next, go around the perimeter and replace your Phillips screws. And this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.